Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video, our first video in what I want to say is like three months, Pr probably three months, it's 2017, it's, it's a new year and I'm starting a new series, as you can see we are WCW but the date, the date is May 2001 which is about the time where WCW went under and got bought out by WWF but we are playing we are playing a mod in a alternative timeline where that just doesn't happen where WCW manages to survive and lives on so yeah uh, the, uh we are playing as WCW uh it's alive it's not dead. We are going to be competing, trying to get on a competitive level with WWF, who are international. We are cult. It's definitely going to be hard. I'm hoping they don't last on international, so it makes it a bit easier for us. But it's going to be it's going to be very tough. Uh, they have a stacked roster. They have loads, loads of our. Uh, they have loads of the ECW talent. They have, I think, they have some of our talent from before, and yeah. But this this episode will just be in a simple introduction to the series. Uh, let's let's have a look at our roster. Let's let's have a look at the main eventers. Just just a quick overview of the main eventers. We've got Buff Bagwell, thirty one, quite young compared to the rest of our. Main event scene. He's got decent start quality. Remember, he's got a decent look. Not awful in ring, but not the best. Uh, yeah, we've got Diamond Dallas Page, 45, quite old. Started wrestling at quite an old age as well, which, you know, it's impressive how much he's managed to do when starting so late. But yeah, very decent. Good, good hand. Definitely will be will be used some way or another. Hopefully, maybe put over some of the younger heels. He's a face right now, but yeah. Dustin Rhodes, of course, the second generation superstar. Goldust in WWE. We could do something with him. He's definitely better as Goldust. I don't know. We might we might change him to that sort that sort of character. Uh, he seems quite boring as just Dustin Rhodes, but we can we can see what we can do with him. We've got Jeff Jarrett, of course, you know, Double J, former WWE Intercontinental Champion. I don't know how many times he's won it, but I'm pretty sure it's quite a few times. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. It's I've got a cold. It's been it's been tormenting me for a couple past couple of days. We've got Canyon, he's quite young, he's 31, same age as uh, Buff Bagwell, definitely pushing him, decent star quality, very decent in the ring. Yeah, we've got Kevin Nash, one of our biggest stars, currently a face, um, 84, star quality, 41, getting, getting on quite a bit as well now. Yeah, we've got Lex Luger, once again, another, another oldie, but... Never was never a big fan of Lex Luger. Just didn't seem like there was too much in him, in my opinion. Just just a just a big guy with a good look, and yeah, probably won't be using him too much. Uh, we've got Ric Flair, obviously the Nature Boy. Weird, quite quite low start quality for Ric Flair. Maybe it's because he's getting on a bit. He's fifty two already. Definitely a guy that we want to keep around to help the younger guys grow. We don't want to job him out too much, though, because he is a V-Nature boy. We do want to keep him strong. He's he's great in ring. Let's just have a look at his stats quickly. He's amazing in ring. He's got great, still great start quality. And, yeah, currently a heel. He'll definitely be a good hand to have around. Scott Steiner. We've got... Uh, Big Papa Pump. Uh yeah, I've got I've got plans with Scott Steiner, big plans. He's gonna he's gonna do a lot. Quite he's he's decent at brawling, 
He's got decent pure resto, which is strange. But overall, great style quality, even more than Ric Flair. Um, and yeah, decent in ring. Not too bad. Definitely going to use him. And of course, the franchise, Sting. Oh, he's, he's uh, in my plans as well. Can't wait to use this man. He is going to be great. He's still, well, not in his prime, but still decent. Still very much able to work on a high level. Stamina is down a bit, but, you know, going to work. We Now we've, uh, let's have a look at the creative meeting. Our franchise players are Sting, Ric Flair, Diamond Dallas Page, Scott Stein, and Kevin Nash. Next big things, AJ Styles, of course. I am going to be trying to push this guy as hard as I can. AJ Styles is the future of this company. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you who he is. Hot prospects, AJ Styles, Jamie Noble, Billy Kinman, Mark Jindrak, and Shane Helms. Uh, talk the talk, Ric Flair, of course, Dusty Rhodes, Kevin Nash, Diamond Dallas Page, and Sting. We've got quite quite a few good talkers, I reckon. Uh, showstoppers, Rey Mysterio Jr., Ric Flair, Sting, Scott Steiner, and Diamond Dallas Page. Good list there. Ring Generals, Ric Flair, Rey Mysterio Jr., Lance Storm, Fit Finley, and Sting. Who's hot? Who's Oh, we do have who's hot, who's not. All right. Diamond Dallas Page, Scott Steiner, Shane Helms, Chuck Palumbo, and Sean O'Hare currently on the Who's Hot list. And on the Who's Not is Road Rory Animal, Johnny DeBall, Big Vio, Jim Duggan, and Norman Smiley. Yeah, I don't think I'll be investing much time in any of these any of these people. Time decline, we've got Ric Flair, Jim Duggan, Diamond Dallas Page, Fit Finley, Kevin Nash. We do have quite an old roster, so this is... I feel like there's more people in time decline. Uh, than just these five, but these five, but these five are the deepest into it. Of course, Ric Flair, seventeen years past his prime, still good worker though. And let's have a look at the hidden gems: CM Punk, John Cena, Nova, Devon Storm, and Ken Anderson. Definitely will be looking to sign some of these guys, but especially the top two. I mean, imagine if we can get John Cena before WWF get him. John Cena and WC. Let's have a look at him quickly. Yeah, definitely will be worth getting. Yeah, definitely, definitely gonna sign John Cena or at least try it. And CM Punk, great. They're both great. Yeah. Sorry if you can hear any noise in the background. That that must be. That is a car. I'll turn my window right now. Let's have a look at the champions. The cruiserweight champion Shane Helms. Decent, decent worker. We've got we've got good cruiserweight division. Gonna try work on that. But we've got the United States heavyweight and the world heavyweight ch uh, champion is both Booker T. We are gonna. I'm I'm not too too fond of having them uh unified right now or having them on one person. So we are probably gonna change that without spoiling too much. But Booker T. You might wonder why he wasn't in our main event. He's currently injured for 21, 20, 28 days with a damaged shoulder. It's only 28 days, so I don't have to strip him of the titles. But, yeah, it'll be it'll be tough not having our world and the United States champion <coughs> uh, to wrestle. He, he is available for angles, though. So, yeah, and our world tag team champions are Chuck Palumbo and Sean Air, two decently young young guys that are definitely worth a push with decent star quality, currently faces, so yeah, we're both in the rookie years, actually no, Sean O'Hare is in the, his rookie year, and Chuck Palumbo is two years pro, so they are both quite green in the ring still, but they look, they've got a good look, they've got good star quality, so they'll definitely be worth pushing, yeah, so I think that'll be it for the first episode, next episode I reckon will be We'll be uh, running our first first Nitro. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this first episode. If you're excited for the new series, please like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe. Bye.